and it all has a home. And I'm so excited. And these have the soft clothes. That is the pantry. I have overflowing <laughs> box of donations. I'm such a psycho about this closet right now. Okay, it's it's really bothering me. Like I have like you know all my white sneakers. I have all my Vans. The fact that these hangers don't match is driving me bananas. We're finally getting to Ken stuff. I love it. In here's good morning. I am so excited because I'm about to give you guys the pantry reveal. Like now that it's all filled and stocked, like there's nothing else in the house that like has to go in here. Everything that we moved out is like back in, I mean I did a little bit of kind of like decluttering and like purging and like deciding what was gonna ultimately be in here but like now everything's back in here and it all has a home and I'm so excited. Honestly this only took me, like it took me the day that they finished it and then yesterday to completely finish this so it really only took me like I guess kind of like a day and a half to kind of like, cause it wasn't only about refilling it, it was also kind of like strategizing and like figuring out what was gonna go where. So it wasn't just like, okay, put everything back in. It also took kind of like a good amount of time sort of like deciding, but I'm pretty happy with it. I guess I it can't probably say that this is like 1000% how it's gonna stay, you know, obviously forever or even like in the immediate future. It's definitely possible as we like live with it that we like decide to move things around or kind of shift stuff or, Add or whatever but as of right now just like based on the last two days and what we have this is what we're working with and I am so so excited and I just like can't wait to show it to y'all I'll flash some footage on the screen here but just so you guys kind of have a little reference of what it looked like before not only in terms of just like the wire shelving and just like the aesthetic but it was also just so like cluttered feeling and there was just like no breathing room it was just everything wasn't very accessible it was just not very functional, not very aesthetic. It was just kind of like chaotic looking and feeling. So keep that in mind. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. So now, and here is, obviously it's a little bit tricky to show cause I can't like fully show the whole thing, but I'll give you a little overview. So coming into the left, we have all of these drawers here. Um, underneath here really doesn't have anything on the floor, which is nice. And this drawer is completely empty, which is exciting because I think this will probably be like Cole's snack drawer as he gets a little bit older. I think this would be a good place to like keep stuff for him because it's like obviously the lowest one that he could just kind of like walk in here and grab pouches or snacks. So that's kind of what I have in mind for that in the future. This drawer I freaking love. This is all of the seasonings and spices and like the little kind of flavoring packets like the ranch mix and those kind of things. I love this drawer because everything fits so nicely in it and I love that I can just like see everything and grab them and they're not kind of like stacked you know one in front of the other where I have to like move things around to grab them. So I love this drawer and these have the soft clothes which I love. And then going up here, these two shelves are Kohl's, as you can probably tell. So this is Kohl's section. Then we have kind of like sauces, like kind of like condiments, things like that. And I actually have, you might be able to tell, there's like a little riser. So all of the sauces in the back, as you can see, they kind of get a little bit higher. So I can just move like one thing and then things are kind of like staggered. So it's like not totally flat, kind of like goes up gradually. It'll be way easier to see what we have in there. And then the very top shelf is just extra like protein and stuff. And then and going over to the right, we just have uh, basically our like alcohol and bags. So there's a, a bunch of different kinds of Ziploc bags back there and then an extra garbage bags and then alcohol. And then going down from there are just these like two bins of basically just snacks. And then I also just kind of slid over here are like backups of our like most used products that like we kind of are constantly replenishing. So like mayo, ketchup, we're constantly reusing and then having a backup for. So I figured those kind of needed their own little space right there and then below that these other two shelves kind of going down are just honestly like more snack type stuff we love oreos so that's just kind of like the snack section and then under here there's really not much going on i just have a tray and some plastic silverware so kind of like underneath these two things there's a lot more room and then down here we just have beverages basically like alcoholic beverages sodas that's my sous vide my kitchen robot i actually specifically had them like design the pantry so that there would be enough room for the sous vide to slide underneath and store which is why these are the height that they are which is really nice and then ken stand mixer has its own little color 
cubby hole right there, which is really nice. And then going up the center, we just have cans, which I love these can organizers. This middle section is kind of like our most used stuff. I kind of want to like lower the shelf a little bit because I feel like it looks a little dumb having like so much space. But this is all the stuff we're constantly reaching for, like our BCAAs and our protein powders and creatine and like some of Ken's snacks and stuff like that. And then we have more cans right here. And then actually like a totally open section, which like, I don't know, maybe sort of looks <laughs> a little bit funny. I feel like that's like one of the main areas. But I was kind of just like filling this and filling this and then I realized I was out of stuff and had never just like decided to put anything in that section. So I don't know what's gonna end up eventually going there. I might take some of the things that are way up top like our food saver and I have like our um, kind of like cooler bags and stuff way up the top. Maybe I'll put those in there. Maybe I'll just leave it in case, you know, we end up needing it for stuff. And then to the right of that, that's just basically cereals and then um, our extra like cups and mugs. And then underneath that is like the dried goods basically as you can kind of tell like mac and cheese pasta quinoa and then below that is uh, kind of similar this bin sort of has stuff like that and then these are just like some baking stuff you know like sugar brown sugar and then over here is it's a little bit miscellaneous but it's like kind of like mixes if you will, sort of. There's like extra oatmeal, but then it's like all of the pancake mix and the like muffin mix and cookie mix and stuff like that in the back there. And then this is kind of like the coffee and tea shelf. So all of our different teas, my coffee syrups, like kind of like creamers, all of that kind of stuff. And then right below that is all of our salad dressings. That bin back there is also super random. It has like gloves and straws and random cup lids. And then over here is um, all of our like butters. So like peanut butter and and Nutella, coconut butter. And then last but not least, bottom drawer is also empty. They have to actually replace this one because it's a little bit damaged. They're coming next week for that. This drawer is kind of another sort of random drawer. This section you'll kind of notice is like baking related. So it is like baking stuff, but also a little bit of like a weird selection of stuff like the sesame seeds. I just didn't really know where to put those. And it's also not very full, which is also nice. We have room to move into that one. And then this is Ken's like main baking drawer. So all of his like main baking stuff, baking powder powder baking soda and then this shelf right above that just has our bin of like kind of individual chip bags and then I have so many of like these microwavable different packets of like quinoa and rice and farro and that kind of stuff and those just kind of fit perfectly right there and then right above that I just have my container of all of my like instant grits and instant oatmeal and stuff like that and then not like so this isn't like sauces but this is basically like cooking <laughs> ingredients mostly it's just like vinegars and oils and like cooking wine and stuff like that and then more baking products right above that and then at the top there we just have like extra parchment paper foil plastic bags mason jars so just kind of like storagey type things and then like I mentioned I just have a couple of things stored at the very top there so that is the pantry I hope you can like get a real kind of sense for how it looks it just like looks a it's like i think it's much more aesthetic like it just isn't so overwhelming to walk into and i feel like it just looks so organized everything has a home i think it is going to take some getting used to for sure just because we were obviously like very accustomed to where everything was before and now things are kind of in like different groupings and also just like different locations. So I think it's probably gonna take some adjusting, but I really like it. I feel like the shelves are like the perfect size where I can fill them up with a lot of stuff, but also everything's still like very accessible. Like there's nothing kind of like shoved in corners that's gonna be hard to get to. You can fit a lot of things on the shelves, I think without them looking like super, super packed or like overwhelmingly full. It just feels like it's gonna be just so functional and honestly it just like doesn't stress me out to come in here that was Ken's big thing he was always just like so stressed out <laughs> coming into the pantry and having to like figure out where stuff was or just like get to it because things were just like so kind of like stacked up and behind each other and it was just kind of a headache just dealing with the pantry at all so it just is so much more like it just feels so good in here and I love how it looks and obviously we keep a lot of stuff I don't know how this compares to a lot of people like it's just a lot of stuff to have in a pantry so I feel like for us it's just like a good amount of storage we tend to like just store a lot of stuff and so for us it's just definitely like accomplishing that and just like maximizing the amount of space we have especially as we have like nine foot ceilings so now we can use all the way up to like the ceiling and store kind of like as much as possible but also in like the most functional way so that's the pantry I'm finally done with that I need to actually go up stairs now and work on the closet can finish like sanding and painting and all of that so I will show you that and then I need to start filling it which is gonna take forever there was literally two 
two rags worth of just <laughs> so much like sawdust and stuff in there that took me honestly quite a while to wipe all those shelves down. <laughs> Gross. Someone's awake. I also busted my finger when I was wiping down <laughs> the cabinets. I also kind of have like a drawing of the um, closet and I kind of like labeled what I think is gonna go where. We will see if we actually follow that. <laughs> Hi. All right, I'm finally starting to like move stuff in and I've shown this before, like when we did the before clips and stuff, but this used to have Ken's just like socks, underwear, gym shorts, gym shirts, like kind of all his like everyday stuff. So this was full, three drawers full in this kind of like plastic bin. And we purged stuff and organized stuff. And we literally got that whole entire bin into like two drawers. And honestly, like this drawer is barely full. Like I just had his shirts over here and then his shorts. But like, <laughs> there's seriously so much room in this drawer. And then this drawer, I just put like his socks and his boxers and stuff in here. And I mean, this drawer is pretty full, but the fact that I got this whole entire unit into like one and a half drawers in here is a very good sign. I honestly thought it was gonna take up almost this whole entire thing. So I'm excited. We just got back from dinner with um, a couple of friends and their kids and um, I'm in the closet again. And I wore this dress and I'm kind of obsessed with it and I kind of want to order more colors, but it's like, and there's nothing in this closet hardly, but I was like, oh, this dress hanging section is going to be so convenient for that long dress. So there it is. And that's the jacket that I wore over it. I'm um, so Cole's asleep. I'm back at it. Ken's doing like, y'all probably know if you've watched any of the vlogs, he's like obsessed with just like health, not just like looking good, but like genuinely like being healthy, like on the inside. So he uh, was super excited to, this is not sent to us or sponsor or anything. He bought these himself, but he's like so excited to find out what his omega-3 index and his vitamin D, like it's a blood thing. So I'm not gonna, oh, that's a hair, that's cute. Uh, I'm not going to show it, obviously. I don't even wanna watch it happen, but he's super excited, like so excited. He just like ran to the mailbox because he could not wait to um, get these. Um, This is to me not exciting, but he's pretty stoked. <laughs> boxes here that we can throw away now which is great but then we also have all of our um, like shoe organizer things here that I need to find what I'm gonna do with and then we also have those two bins of drawers that are here as well so I gotta find homes for all of that stuff but the floor in here <laughs> throughout the day today has just been like covered with clothes and shoes and like Ken will like bring stuff in and then I'll like process it and bring it into the closet and like the floor is completely clear now. So that's very good. I have, and as you can tell, like overflowing <laughs> box of donations and stuff, like stuff that we're gonna get rid of. There's stuff of Ken's in here, obviously stuff of mine. I just kind of like took it out because it's like on the chopping block. So I have to like try it on and decide for sure. But there's a ton of stuff being cut, which I'm excited about. I'm such a psycho about this closet right now. And I came in here to start working on it at like quarter after six. And now it's seven o'clock and Cole is still sleeping. Ken is still sleeping. And I've already made like four trips in from 
<laughs> the room where we have everything into here and I've already got a lot done and everyone's still sleeping. I have my assistant here helping me pick out my nail polish shade. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You can't make up your mind? Okay, just think about it. Oh, wow. Look at you. Are you going to just make a complete mess of that? Wow. That's a good choice. I like that one. Oh, you don't like it? Okay, we'll put it back. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, what about that one? Do you like it? No. Okay. Good morning. I think I am about to give you guys a little um, closet reveal and probably wrap up this video. I've been filming this over, like, I don't even know how many days at this point between, like, showing you the before and emptying it out and then like the during process and then like the filling it up process. I'm almost like scared to know how much footage I have to edit for this video even though it's gonna be fun but I've spent a lot of time in here over the last couple days like literally pretty much every free moment that I've had like when Cole's been napping or still sleeping in the morning like literally every time he's in his crib I have been in here after he goes to bed at night like I have spent so much time in here but honestly it has been so much fun like I've probably said a couple times in this video how much I just enjoy organization and like planning and even like folding and hanging stuff. I worked in retail for a while. I like managed in retail. I enjoy this stuff and I like the outcome of it and honestly it's kind of like relaxing for me. Like it's kind of therapeutic. I was actually texting with my sister-in-law about like she's like I would love to have a project like that where I could just like organize and she said it's very relaxing for her too. I'm sure a lot of y'all are the same way but more than anything I just like love the outcome like I love it in here so I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you it filled it's basically done actually my in-laws are coming over today I think I might start a new vlog today for when they come over but we're gonna obviously like show them the whole reveal and the transformation so I was kind of motivated to get it done by today anyway Cole's actually still sleeping it's like quarter after seven um, I was very motivated to get it's not like done done though I wanted to get it done to the point of just being like presentable you know but it's not done 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 like there is still some stuff in like the other extra room um that does have to come in here there's no more clothes in that room so that's good like all the clothes are put away but there is like just random stuff like my extra like tote bags like I usually store those in here my like tripod and things like that so there are like things in that room that still need to come in here but this is more or less how it's going to be and obviously I will still continue in vlogs and stuff like updating y'all on the process because I did order like bins and stuff for the shelves and things like that so even though this is like the official like pantry and closet vlog um if y'all keep watching the vlogs which I hope you do you will still see updates kind of as we go along as I like put new stuff in here so I'm going to show you guys um pretty much what's going on in here I think this is how things are going to stay but I've been like telling Ken I I don't know for sure because I think you kind of have to like live with it and see how it functions kind of and then sort of decide like do I need to you know move things around do I like this here do I not like this here like could there be a better place for it I was also um one of the things we have to still do which is like not important but like for my like perfectionist like type a personality this needs to be done but the only like little thing which Ken and I can probably do if we do it together in literally like five minutes is switch the hangers like the hangers I like to be all the same color in each section and now that we have so much like folded storage we're ha we have a lot less that's hanging so we have a ton of extra hangers like I don't even know I don't know if I have to get rid of them or I'll probably just store them for like you know future kids and stuff like that but we have so many extra hangers because before we had to hang everything and honestly this closet has so much folded storage between shelves and drawers that it was almost kind of hard to decide like okay what are we not hanging now because before literally everything had to be hanging so we have a lot of extra hangers and I just need to switch some of the hangers that we have here because obviously this stuff kind of came from a bunch of different sections in the old closet so the hangers are not matching which is honestly like really bothering me <laughs> which it shouldn't it's a small thing but it's it's really bothering me that the hangers are not matching so like don't mind that by the end of the day today the hangers will all be matching but like the the thing about this closet is I like genuinely expected even though it's a very big closet I really thought that once we had these built-ins in here that this closet was gonna feel very small everything is kind of encroaching on the space and I thought it would kind of start feeling like not cluttered but just small and maybe a little more cramped but somehow it's like the opposite 
it's really crazy to me how much like it still feels huge in here and I feel like it almost feels bigger than it did before so I'm very glad that it feels so spacious in here even though there's kind of a lot more in here oh and after this I do need to show y'all um, my pile of like stuff to get rid of I decluttered a ton um, I can link up the vlog if I can like remember which one it was where I decluttered a ton like a ton over the last couple weeks I got rid of a lot of stuff already that went to my sister I think I gave my sister like three or four like huge boxes of stuff and plus stuff got donated and now I have like probably it's all piled up it's probably like two or three boxes like big you know cardboard boxes full of more stuff to get rid of so I've pared down a lot which you will notice is like very <laughs> obvious I can put in um the footage from before again here really quick so you guys can see like how just like bursting at the seams this closet was I was actually really hoping to be able to like move some stuff out of the dresser which maybe I'll show that too into here just because things were like not functional anymore it, it was just getting to the point like especially my dresser the dresser is where I I keep it's in our bedroom it's where I keep obviously like socks underwear bras but then also like my sports bras and my leggings and my PJs like just stuff like that that I'm kind of grabbing for all the time and it was just like not working anymore like the legging situation the way that I had to have it organized and folded for everything to fit just wasn't working and then like my bike shorts and my running shorts were also like shoved in with my leggings and all the drawers were just so full and it just it was annoying to even have to like get anything out of there so I was really hoping once we got this closet I'd be able to like kind of move some stuff around and I did and now even the dresser like even though that wasn't really part of this project even the dresser is so much more like functional and there's just like space not that I need to be like filling this space because I have a lot of clothes and I have plenty of clothes and I do not need more clothes but I actually have like room for things if I do end up getting more things so anyway that's kind of just like some of the thought process through all this stuff so I will flip you guys around now and show you the closet now that it is all filled up and done and freaking so excited so we'll start over here what you will notice is there's a lot of empty space even I'm sure you guys probably noticed in the pantry we have a good amount of empty space which makes me so excited I did order off Amazon um, some bins that I think are gonna fit like perfectly two in these upper ones as you might notice that one's like a little um, like shallower and then these ones like above the drawer units are deeper and taller so I think they're gonna fit in these ones perfectly obviously if they fit here they're gonna fit here but I might be able to get bigger bins for up here I'm not exactly sure but also if um, we do end up not using the bins in here the bins will also fit at the very top but I'm kind of hoping to not need to store stuff above just because I feel like that will keep it looking a little nicer in here just maintain the aesthetic so I have bins coming in for up there not that we necessarily need them well we might need them like I said there is still some stuff in the guest room that does need to go in here I think it'll look nicer whatever we store up there rather than just having things like folded and kind of potentially looking like a little messy and cluttered and disorganized I'd rather use bins in like the top well maybe not that one but like all these like top sections I'd very much rather use bins than just like throw stuff up there obviously so anyway here's a little overview of kind of like this first section over here this section is pretty much just like shackets and denim jackets so kind of like layering type thing and then below that this is um, pretty much just hoodies like pullover hoodies and zip up hoodies all of my Lululemon uh, scuba jackets so it's also just like colder weather layering type things and then um obviously a big chunk of my wardrobe is <laughs> crew neck sweatshirts so this is the crew neck sweatshirt wall and honestly this section has space because i just like found so many as i was going through that just i think had like spit up on them from you know months back when cole was still spitting up a lot that i just like apparently never put in the wash because i think everything just ended up with spit up at that point and i don't wash my sweatshirts like every time i wear them obviously so i noticed a lot were a little bit dirty still so there's a couple in the wash and then all the drawers i'm so obsessed with the drawer situation like i love that I have drawers now so this one's all like um, I have another tank top drawer but this drawer is like kind of flowier tanks like you know tanks that you'd wear maybe with like denim shorts or like this is kind of like lacier tank just like nicer tanks like these are some peplum style tanks so things like that I love the soft clothes oh my gosh this drawer is actually empty because it's the one that they're um, gonna be replacing actually tomorrow 
or the next day they're coming um but i also don't have like a plan for this drawer anyway i kind of had to leave it empty for them to replace and this drawer i did leggings and then kind of like lounge sweat shorts well this is not workout leggings this is like lounge leggings like obviously you can tell like my faux leather leggings and just like really comfy like cotton lounge leggings and then lounge shorts so i kind of tried to keep things kind of consistent because then below that i also have my sweatpants and like joggers and basically more lounge pants so i thought like i was trying to make things make sense especially because i have to like learn where everything is again since obviously this is all new to us so i thought it made sense to kind of have like sweatpants and like sweat shorts kind of all together and then moving over here i think y'all can also tell like there's a lot of space in each of these sections like I have room there this is pretty full um, this section has room this is very full that section has like a ton of space so love that like even though all my clothes are in the closet now I still have room which is amazing because I genuinely thought and even Ken was saying to me last night he's like I thought you were gonna fill this thing up and like potentially not have room like we almost not that we thought we were gonna lose storage but we did think that it was gonna be <laughs> potentially a little problematic to fit all my clothes back in here and I have room and you will see once I turn around behind me like I have a lot of extra room <laughs> so this I decided to do kind of like um, basically like button downs essentially so these are some of my like matching sets with like the little button down linen shirts so there's like short sleeve button downs long sleeve kind of layering button downs and then obviously a ton of like flannels and plaids and then also just like some kind of denim and more kind of like nicer button down type tops and then above that is basically all like sherpas but then also um like jackets too like this is like my forever 21 one and then also um my vests so this is just kind of like winter and fall kind of like warmer jackets and layering things and then this is the long hanging section so you'll notice like there's a bar here on this one but this doesn't have another bar underneath it it just has shelves so this was intended for you know just longer stuff y'all the fact that these hangers don't match is driving me bananas. I'll have to insert some footage once I like switch the hangers out so you guys can see how it looks like actually done in a way that is not driving me crazy and potentially <laughs> driving some of y'all crazy. So here um, I just did like kimonos, longer cardigans, obviously like jumpsuits, like these are all really long maxi dresses, like just things that wouldn't really fit or make sense in like a shorter section. And then I actually, oh, I actually just put like two of my longer skirts. I just like folded them here. And then dresses that like I don't really wear a ton that I don't necessarily want to get rid of. I just folded down here. They're kind of like out of sight out of mind sort of thing but I didn't want to like take up space in the actual like hanging section with them but I also like didn't want them to be fully packed away so that's why I love that we have shelves because I can still have them out and folded but not have to like see them constantly and then I actually decided to put all my cardigans down here just because as much as I feel like it's convenient to have them hanging I kind of feel like hanging them almost like damages them like I feel like the kind of like shoulder portion of the hangers like just pokes through like the knitted portion and can like kind of stretch it out or like make little holes in it and I don't like that so I decided I wanted to fold them and honestly like they fit perfectly and I actually have some space over there above um, that stack so I love that all my cardigans are here and I love that it's like a little bit easier to see even though obviously like having them hanging that's easy to see as well I feel like just having them kind of all stacked up here and being able to see like the color and you know the texture of them will make it a lot easier to like grab them when I need them and then this section and as y'all notice the top sections of this entire wall are open and then this whole section is open as well these might get full like I threw my hats right there I might put like my baseball hats maybe on one of these shelves because I haven't put those in here yet I might put like my purses and totes up there so I don't really have a plan for these yet but they may get filled they may not I also have my like jewelry holder it goes I want to be careful because I don't want everything to fall off but this like goes on the wall so like this is almost like a shelf so I'm considering hanging that here or here Ken's gonna um paint this so that it blends in a little bit better but I might hang that back there like kind of above this is my Alex drawer unit y'all would have seen that before that like just kind of slides in this is my other jewelry holder so I might like keep this here and then have that back here so we need to figure that out but I think that's kind of what's gonna go over here so as of right now it's pretty much empty but I think it will probably fill up and then here is the shoe wall which 
I just love, I feel like everything is like very nicely categorized. Like I have like, you know, all my white sneakers, I have all my Vans, like everything makes a lot more sense. And just like picking out shoes is gonna be so much easier now. As you guys probably noticed, I haven't shown anything of Ken's <laughs> quite yet. And honestly, his shoes literally only take up these two rows and then literally all the rest of this is my shoes. Um, I have a little bit of space down there. I'm gonna put my like extra slippers over there. But I also do have some boots and stuff for fall that are packed away. So, I mean, I do have some fall shoes out here. But I think once I get my other boots out, this will definitely be filled up. As you can tell, there's, like, a little bit of space. Those are, I left those in boxes because those are all, like, dressier shoes. Kind of like these, you know, type heels. And I feel like those are almost easier and it's, like, almost more efficient to leave them in boxes. Because I can stack them rather than having them all out. But I don't really like the look of it. Like, I feel like just having boxes there isn't very cute. I don't know. I might take them out. Let me know what y'all think. But I love that this is just like one spot for all of my shoes. Before, as you guys would have seen, I had shoes, you know, down below, but then I also had boxes on the shelves and I never knew what was where. So this is very convenient. And I love that it's also hidden away. Like obviously kind of looking at it, it looks a little bit busy, but when you like walk into the closet, you you know, you can kind of tell that they're there, but like you can almost not see them. So I love that we chose that wall. It's nice and concealed. And then we put the hamper in this little space, which it is literally perfect. Like it's almost flush perfectly with the um, like little cabinet behind it. So I love that. I'm not sure what's going to go here. I kind of feel like we need something here, but I don't know what. So that's to be determined. And then coming over to this side, again, we have all of the top cabinets completely empty. So we have Basically, the top cabinets across the entire thing is empty. So, coming over here, um, that bin has my bathing suits, and then that is cover-ups. And then here we have all denim shorts, denim skirts, and then I just decided to put, like, my other skirts there. So, like, my tennis skirts and my tennis dresses. I couldn't really, like, think of a place that, like, made sense for those. And I don't really love them there because it doesn't totally make sense, but... It also kind of does. So that's what I did for now. And then we have jeans. And then here I have kind of like dress shorts and dress pants. Like kind of flowier pants. And then these are actually dresses. These are like all of my ribbed kind of tank top dresses. Which obviously technically would like make sense going over there. Because that's the dress section. But I didn't want to really hang these. Because I, I feel like they would take up kind of all the... Well actually, hmm, now that I'm thinking about it. I was afraid that section was going to be too full. Because originally I was going to hang all... All of the cardigans over there but now that I've decided to fold the cardigans I have a lot of extra room over there so maybe I will hang these up and put them over there I was just afraid that having these on hangers was just gonna take up a ton of space because I have like 10 of them but now I'm actually thinking I have like a lot of extra room over there and it would just make actual sense to keep them over there so maybe I'll do that and then I can just like slide these over and look at that. That looks even, like, nicer in a way because it's, like, you know, a little bit more spread out. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm glad we decided that. And then in terms of drawers, this is, like, my other tank top drawer. But this is more, like, ribbed tanks and kind of, like, not necessarily, like, athletic tanks. But slightly more, like, casual. Like, I would wear these with, like, a sports bra and leggings. This whole pile is, um, like, nursing-friendly tank tops. Like, the ones that have, like, little snaps on them. And as you can tell, just, like, with the other tank top drawer, like, this drawer has a lot of extra space in it which is really nice so anyway this is like the casual kind of like layering tank top drawer and then this drawer is oh my gosh i have so many tank tops y'all <laughs> this is like the athletic like the actual athletic tank top but also like t-shirt drawer so this has some like sports bra type tanks and then like flowy tanks like all of my sydney squad ones like tank tops that you're actually meant to like work out in but then also i put in um kind of like my athletic long sleeve shirts too so these are like the ones that kind of have like holes in the thumb that are kind of a more athletic-y material it's just like athletic tops in general i wanted all of those together like these are like really flowy sport t-shirt this is all kind of athletic top and then this drawer i love like i said i had to take stuff out of the dresser and this is all athletic um shorts pretty much so it's obviously bike shorts and then running shorts so i love that i have all my athletic shorts in one place and not like mixed in with leggings and kind of all over the place and this bottom drawer was actually empty for the longest time but i actually decided i'm going to just use that for like my new i kind of like when i get like new stuff to keep it all in one place and then like put it back 
kind of where it goes in the closet once I've worn it. So that drawer is just kind of like new stuff that like obviously belongs somewhere else. But right now it's just in here until I wear it more or less. And then going over here, y'all look, I have an entire rack that is open. Like how bananas is that? I actually might use that as well as like my new clothes kind of like almost like a clothing rack you know like if you'd have a clothing rack in your closet or in your room where you put like stuff you want to wear stuff you want to style things that are just like new to your wardrobe that's what i'm gonna i think treat that section as since i have it and then below that i basically just have tops more or less so like cropped t-shirts and then i have like my really big oversized t-shirts and then like henleys and long sleeves and blouses and things like that so these are all just tops and then ton of room up there these are all um, my like t-shirts so like graphic tees and stuff like that I honestly have all of my Panthers stuff here this is a Hornet shirt and then like my Charlotte FC stuff and my Eagle stuff so I have like all <laughs> my sports t-shirts and kind of together and then this is actually two layers like there's three more stacks behind there because the graphic shirt game is very strong and then this rack is now we're actually getting to Ken stuff so basically everything I've shown y'all so far literally everywhere besides those like two rows of shoes has literally been all my stuff <laughs> We're finally getting to Ken's stuff. He has these two um, stacks of like obviously like khakis and jeans. These are his tank tops and his hats. I don't super love this. I feel like it looks a little bit weird to have like just a pile of shirts and then hats. Like it doesn't really make a ton of sense but that's what we have going on here. And then and this is his workout shorts and his gym shorts and bathing suits in here. And then this is socks and underwear. This is all of his you know regular shorts. His bottom drawer is um, sweatpants and you know athletic pants and things like that. And then these two um, hanging sections are <laughs> basically all the rest of his clothes. Honestly y'all he doesn't even have any drawers in the dresser. Like the entire dresser out in our room plus I don't know like 85% of this closet <laughs> is my stuff because honestly even though this is his section like those are all my shirts up there so I don't know how this guy functions on so few clothes but up here is like button down kind of like dress ish shirts long sleeve shirts and like zip up um, hoodies and regular hoodies and basically sweatshirts and things like that and then down here are all just like his everyday shirts you know t-shirts he has a couple of short sleeve button downs and then polos and then honestly I hid in the very back his like suits and stuff like that and honestly that's like the perfect place for them because they're very much out of the way so this is his whole <laughs> basically his Section is these two and then these two shelves and all these drawers and honestly this thing is completely empty as well other than I put all of my beanies like all of my winter hats I just stack those up down there just for now I don't know if they're gonna stay there I honestly think I'm probably gonna put those in a bin and put those up here like you know when I'm not using them and not wearing them during you know the summer and stuff like that this thing's totally empty I honestly just threw this bin in here I bought this for Cole like for his toys and stuff but we don't have anything in it yet so I just like, threw it in here to see if it would fit and um this fits really nicely in here but this whole thing is totally empty which is really nice and again this is what I wanted to use for like kind of concealed storage so I think I might put in here like probably like a little basket with all like my eyeglasses for example like I have extra glasses that you know need a home so I'll probably do like a little bit of glasses I'll probably put my scarves again like winter things either in here or again maybe up there so that's what I need to figure out I do still have all of my fall and winter clothes packed away so eventually like I am gonna need to find a home for like sweaters so like when fall comes around I need to put out like my sweaters which I like to keep those folded I'll probably like pack either pack these away or maybe move like these are all denim shorts these are all very much like summer things I'll either move those like up and kind of just like transfer storage up and down and then like put sweaters here and like down here since these are shorts and like maybe kind of rearrange this and like that's bathing suits so almost everything here besides the jeans is summer specific so I might like move bathing suits cover-ups and like shorts and then basically have this whole thing be sweaters and then jeans so like that's kind of you know one of the things that like I need to figure out for the most part it's more or less done in here and I'm just so excited that like all the hanging sections have room and we just have room in here so I honestly thought we we're gonna do all this and it would still be really fun full but at least it would be like easier to use and just be more functional so I'm very thrilled that it actually worked out that like not only you know was this worth it for like the functional aspect of things but we actually have 
more space, which was part of the point. However, I also think, like I said, because I got rid of so much stuff, I think that definitely like plays a role in how, you know, everything is fitting in here. I think like I've definitely trimmed down enough. So I'm very excited. So let me show you the dresser really quick. Show you kind of how I like switched up the dresser a little bit. And then um, I'm gonna pretty much wrap up the video here, but keep watching because I'm gonna probably insert some additional clips like without me talking, just to kind of like show you guys if I do like update things and move them around and stuff like that. If there's any like final touches that I end up doing. This is like done to the point that I wanted to kind of like walk you through it and like kind of show you what I did, but I know that there are definitely some like finishing touches and like little things that I want to do, but I didn't want to like continue to drag this video out for another like a week potentially. Like I'm really not rushing on this as excited as I am to like have it done. I'm also just enjoying the process so much that I almost like not that I don't want to finish, but I am enjoying having it to like look forward to doing, which I know probably for some people sounds like insane to enjoy stuff like this. But for me, I'm enjoying it so much that I'm like really taking my time and like making sure that it's exactly how I want and that everything's like going to work. I don't want to have to do things twice. Like I don't want to have to redo stuff because I just like kind of made a hasty decision. I'm trying to be very thoughtful. The only thing I am thinking that may change because I do have that extra drawer um, that they're replacing is I'm considering putting all of my my t-shirts in a drawer just because they're already kind of folded you know Marie Kondo style so I could like kind of layer them up in a drawer and it might be easier to access them just because a I feel like that's gonna be kind of hard to maintain like keeping all those folded I feel like as I start taking shirts in and out like the piles might just kind of like topple over or thing it'll just be hard to keep it looking nice to keep things like folded and like in those nice piles plus like I showed you there are three rows of shirts behind the three that you can see so um, I don't know how I would ever really like decide to wear those shirts because I literally like can't see them so I'd have to move this entire pile to like see what's behind it and actually wear those shirts um I did put I got one of these little like collapsible little like step stools and it fits really nicely like hidden right over there and it's the perfect height for me to be able to reach even all the way to the top so I can like use that and then stand on it and actually see what's up there but I just I don't know how functional that is to like actually use all of those so I am considering moving those into that drawer and then like I said since I will have like sweat and like folded things for the fall like maybe I could put sweaters in these two sections like that's what I just don't know so obviously I'm not gonna like put out my sweaters and stuff yet that's not gonna be in this vlog I'm sure probably when I do like my fall like switch over like my fall and winter like closet switch I can definitely include that in like a future vlog so you know I'm gonna show you the dresser now but keep watching I gotta go get the BB baby so here's um I'm sure you all have seen this a million times this is the dresser out here and basically how it was before was this drawer here and this drawer here were both sports bras which was very annoying to me because like my sports bras were torn between two drawers which like doesn't make any sense so as you can tell this drawer is now completely empty which is really nice and then originally what I did is I put all, all my sports bras in this drawer but then I also realized that didn't make a ton of sense because my leggings were like here and then kind of down there that drawer is where I had my leggings running shorts bike shorts like I just I had a big mix down there and this was all leggings but this legging drawer was like so freaking annoying to get stuff in and out of it was just so crammed full so I was like why do I have like leggings one above each other I can't like see all my leggings at once because obviously if this is open then you can't see the one below it and vice versa and so I was like okay this doesn't make sense so what I ultimately ended up doing and also these bottom drawers I don't know if you can tell but they are deeper so there's actually a little bit more room in these bottom drawers so what I ended up doing is putting all my sports bras in this bottom drawer which I know this is like kind of an absurd number of sports bras to have I swear there's probably like a hundred in here but I kind of like organized them into like kind of similar piles and just just like refolded them and just made them a lot easier to access Th the problem was these drawers are just a little too shallow for these and every time I would like open them they would like kind of catch on the lip in here so this makes a lot more sense because as you can tell it, there's like a lot of room kind of like above so honestly I have room for but not that I need anymore but if I do end up with more sports bras I have room and then I decided rather than having my leggings above each other we would just do two drawers next to each other but as you can see look at this there's so much room in this drawer and like I showed y'all this drawer is totally empty and my sports bra drawer even has room and look at this one this drawer has room back here as well so I feel like that <laughs> just makes more sense when I'm like looking at my leggings like picking out what I want to wear having them all kind of like right 
next to each other. Now I can like see all of my like, and I know again, this is like a ridiculous number of leggings to have, but I can see all of my leggings next to each other. They're all accessible. That's just what drives me crazy about this dresser. It's really nice, I love it. Except for why do the drawers not come out more? Like literally there's probably like four pairs of leggings that like you can just barely see and barely reach because these drawers just don't come all the way out. That's what I really like about the closet. The drawers, as you probably noticed, come all the way out. Like you can reach all the way to the back of the drawer. Like the back of the drawer is flush with the actual, you know, dresser when you pull it out. Like, I don't know why these don't, and it's so frustrating because it makes, like, a quarter of the drawer completely useless. Now, all the leggings make a lot more sense. I love that by getting the closet done. Also, like, my dresser is now a lot more functional and just, like, easier to use. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead here and insert any of, like, the additional, like, clips of updates and stuff that I wanted to show you guys. quick um so here's a pile of stuff we're getting rid of and then i have this i hope that this will like you will be able to tell how big of a box this is like this is a huge cardboard box and it's completely full and then look at the mountain just like piled up on top of all this stuff that's my ring light over there that um i'm cutting i need to like fold it up and go through it and like take the hangers out i literally just like threw all of this in here and this is like i said like we i've done this exact amount probably like two or three other times so i'm pretty proud of myself like this is a big it's a big stack and that is going to be everything for this video so i hope that you guys enjoyed i hope that me like filming and documenting this was worthwhile for you guys i hope that this was fun or maybe helpful for y'all if you're like thinking about redoing your closets maybe like giving you kind of some ideas of some ways you could design it or organize it like putting stuff away or if you just kind of like want to redo your organization maybe this was helpful or maybe it was just entertaining and interesting i love seeing like transformations when like you see you know kind of like wire shelving or things like that kind of like get replaced with something a lot more aesthetic and functional i love stuff like that and I just love organization. It just like has such a special place in my heart. So I love things like this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe, we'd love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I will see y'all in our next video. Bye guys. Bye.